all right, here we go again. Uh, hi again, everybody. Uh, great American Craft Beer with Kyle. Sorry, there's the lighting. It is a Friday evening. Uh, great day. Been drinking since about noon. Uh, a lot going on. 700 WW. Uh, here we go. Uh, got one today that is a. It's a big boy brewer. Picked it up. I've had it before dozens of times. It's it's a big boy brew. It's uh. It's the Prairie Artisan Ale's bomb. Prairie Artisan Ale's bomb. Now, one thing about this beer is it checks in at 13% alcohol by volume. It's an imperial stout aged on coffee, cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. Now, <coughs> I did want to know a couple of things about the beer. It says Spaceship Earth Coffee Company. Now, could be in Oklahoma. A couple of other particulars. We do have a bottle date here. Does look like, uh... I don't know. I can't really see. It says 21, 18, 2000. Yeah, it's a production code. I can't really recommend that. But a couple of things. And you know, Prairie Artisan is the brewery. But it says here distributed by our friends at Shelton Brothers. And then it also says here brewed and bottled by Krebs Brewing Co Company, Krebs, Oklahoma. Now, I've always thought it was Prairie Artisan Ales. They're out of Oklahoma. I'm going to go with that. Uh, Artist Oklahoma. Now, this is saying uh, Krebs, Oklahoma. Now, one thing about this this is not barrel aged, but this is a tremendous kick ass beer. I've had a barrel age and regular age, and I think it's tremendous. I think it's one of the, I think it was like 38th in the stout, the list that I've read. Uh, that's a phenomenal stout, folks. I mean, and they make, I mean, it's almost to me a Hoppin' Frog S company, in my opinion, as far as Prairie goes, uh, with the big stouts. And, you know, one of the guys coming on my Hoppin' Frog review, he said he didn't like a lot of Prairie beers, and a lot of people don't, because there is flavor. A lot of people don't want those chili peppers in their stouts. I mean, they like coffee stouts, they like a little bit of. You know, perhaps a little bit of like vanilla, almond perhaps. But when you start talking chili, chili nibs, people get, you know, kind of freaked out. But this is phenomenal, in my opinion. Again, <laughs> my man's opinion. Uh, but again, so we're going to get into this. But again, looking at Prairie, uh, the, the three stouts that I have drank have all been elite, all been upper echelon. Uh, this one is 13%. So it's a big boy stout. I've been drinking all noon. So it's definitely going to be a sipper, my friends. But some squeeze box in there from Urban Artifact I want to get into as well. So... Let's go ahead and get it open and get it going on this Friday. I hope everybody's enjoying their 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 March Madness and getting the weekend. There's our prairie bottle cap there, nice, very nice. Enjoying their uh, their collection of uh, March Madness games. Went out with some friends earlier here, and now back at the parents' house. And hope we're gonna drink this sip and just kind of just relax. And you know, back to work Monday. Talked about it last night with the ear review. You know, enjoying this last day off with friends and family. There's a pour on this bomb. I'm gonna get this. Oh yeah, my God, is that motor oil? It is dark, dark as can be. You see the pour here? It is my God, that's dark. Darker than I originally thought. I'll pour it about halfway. There you go. And see how this leaves some. I really, I don't know if it's, if it's, it's a bottle. It's just, I thought there's not any hit on this. I mean, that here beer, there was no hit on that. That's bizarre. But anyway, here's the aroma. I'm getting obviously coffee. Most some serious coffee aroma. Dark coffee, some roast coffee. There's some nice chili, some nice chili peppers. This, this glass is rinsed. Uh, I mean, I failed to rinse the glassware. Andrea and Brent are so correct. <laughs> I love them. Grew up with Brent, great buddy of mine. I tell you what, he's one of my best friends. Will be the day I die. Grew up with him uh, for 15 years, and his his, his uh, wonderful girlfriend Andrea. They made a comment to me that I do do either do the glass review from the company or do an empty glass. Well, and I agree. I'm not knocking them. I think I should, and I want criticism. I want I want feedback from. From uh, reviewers, uh, I should. I just don't have any empty glassware in my parents' house. I searched and I didn't have any. They don't have any empty glassware. This was at my home. I would have some. My home was recently broken into, and I regret to say that uh, police have filed a report. So I have an idea who did it, but uh, can't confirm it. So I don't want to go there with that. But uh, again, my TV was stolen. I was up in Dayton watching Jimmy Beheim and the Q's win, but the house was broken into. So. Can't really go into detail about who did it yet. I think I have an idea, but I'm not gonna. I'm not one of them guys where I'd like to run my mouth and slander and speculate before I have definitive proof. So <clears throat> I have an idea. I think my gut is correct, but unless I get definitive proof, I don't want to <coughs> say names or label anybody. So anyway, back to the beer. This is the Prairie Bomb from. This is the this is the bomb from the Prairie Artisan Ales, Oklahoma Brewery. Uh, Prairie Stout aged on coffee, cocoa, and vanilla. Beans and chili peppers. And the aroma, I'm getting a lot of, uh, certainly a lot of chocolate. I mean, cocoa nibs. There's some chili in there. Uh, vanilla. Uh, definitely, I think I get a decent amount of chili, so I think good job with that. So, looks like the brewers at Prairie. I've never had a beverage from them. In fact, uh, 
three fourths. Actually, every Bradbury Kingdom has been an elite. Now, this is an elite company for stouts. Right up there with Hop and Frog, in my opinion. They don't have as, quite as many that I've drank. They do have some stouts that I've not tried. I I shouldn't say that they're not as good as Hop and Frog because they have three or four that I've not tried. Now, from what I've drank, I'm rooting Hop and Frog, and it's not fair to <coughs> disqualify Prairie. I think they're probably pretty much even if I have to. If I have to go on what I've drank from both, they're even. But let's try this drink for beer, and <laughs> let's drink this beer for beer, and thank you, Prairie. Cheers, everybody, and <laughs> happy March Madness. Here we go. My God, is that good. Ah. Oh. Wow. I'll tell you what, the flavors. I mean, it's just this. You cannot. <laughs> it's almost like hot and frog. You just cannot fake about how good this beer is. The flavors. I mean, the, the chocolate, the cooker, the <laughs> beans, the chili hits in the end of this. 13% alcohol. <coughs> I want to hold the beer in one hand and get a sip on this one to see how the flavors come in. It says cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs with some beef chocolate, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. Let's get another quick sip. Again, quick sip. Chocolate vanilla beans, and then. I feel like, okay, let's try this bigger sip. Look at that chili bean finish. My God. A plus beer. Money, money, money. We knew it would be. I mean, we've had it. it it's tremendous. Uh, I recommend anybody. South fan. Uh, just a dark beer fan. Then try Prairie Artisan. Try Prairie Artisan. I was bomb. This is tremendous. It is a little pricey. Nine bucks for a 12 ounce bottle. <coughs> same as Hop and Frog paying 14 for a bomber. So they're on the same level. This is 13% though. So I kind of think this is a better deal. I know you get a 12 ounce bottle and everybody's saying, wait a minute. Well, 13% alcohol, folks. I mean, this is, you'll really be hit at 13. And I get, and that's one of the things I did want to mention. I get no warming at all. For 13%, going to bring up the Evil Twin Bozo, even that Piscotti stout last week, 11 and a half. There is no warming. I mean, I get slight, slight, slight. When I say slight, I mean ever so. This drinks like a 7 or an 8, even a 6, 6 and a half, 7. Tremendous beer. So, again, I want to, I want to thank the brewers at Prairie Artisan <coughs> Ales for this one. Uh, it's it's an A plus. I mean, this is a world class stout, and uh, keep up the good work for those guys. And uh, again, I want to say uh, life's too short again, my friends. And I want to say uh, <coughs> everybody's enjoying March Madness, special time of year. Said we're only a couple of days a year. Enjoy it while it's here. I know, and a lot of people, you know, they they hope their school's not in, they're not watching, <coughs> or if their school's not playing, they're not watching the other games. Just get out and watch basketball. It's not even about the games particular. You know, I talked to a couple friends earlier. We watched that Texas and Nevada game just now, like. Uh, my parents, we have no best interest in that game. I mean, we're not from there, but what a great game. Even yesterday, the Royal Miami. Just great basketball. It's just something to do with friends and family. It's a great time of year. And for me, living here, in, again, in Southwest Ohio, springtime, you know, obviously, I was debating with my buddy last year who said, man, I wish I lived in Florida. I was like, why? March Madness would not be March Madness if I lived in Florida and was 85. This is a turning of the seasons for me, for many millions across the Midwest, and of course, Southwest Ohio, especially where good things are near, spring is near. Now, it's much as I said about football in the fall, fall into winter, and I love season. I would not change it any other way. I love the people who live in Florida, and I'm liking Florida. Is Florida nice in Ohio? In certain aspects, 200 times better. But for me, being, I think it's because of the way I was raised. If I grew up in Florida, I would say, my God, Ohio sucks. I just think being raised here. So, But anyway, back off the beer. I don't want to get off too off topic here. This is the beer. Uh, if you like stouts, like coffee beers, like chili beers, try prairie. Artisan is bomb. It's a tremendous, tremendous beer. Uh, cheers, everybody. Life's too short, and hope you're enjoying the weekend. And we'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Thank you very much. <coughs>